I'll show you a very nice video here and you'll be amazed to see that. Let's see what. See, this man has created a hole and now he'll cover the whole house, leaving that hole. So there's complete darkness in the house, except for that hole. See, some light is coming out, that is coming inside the house from that hole. Hey, what is this? There is an image of the surroundings of the nearby buildings inside the house. Wow, amazing, isn't it? That man from the hole he created the image of the surroundings inside the house which was in complete darkness. Though the image is inverted but you can see everything that is outside without even looking outside. The image has been created through a small hole. Well yes. This hole is actually a pinhole and it can be created as a camera that is called the pinhole camera. Now even if your room is dark and there is a hole in your room, from that sunlight passes in. Do you know it will create the image of a sun here and this is why through a small hole or pinhole image of the sun is obtained. Now this is actually acts as a pinhole camera. Now. Can we construct a pinhole camera ourselves? Well, yes. Take a small hollow rectangular box made of cardboard, metal or wood and it should be closed from three sides. Now screen of tracing paper or butter paper or film is to be fitted on the open face. So we have carefully placed the butter paper on the open face. Now we cover the whole box with black paper so that it can absorb all the light. Now make a small pin sized hole at the center of the face opposite to the screen. Now see, we will create the image of the candle inside the box. Well see, this is the image that is created inside the box. See, it looks something like this. 
So now you know how to make a pinhole camera. So what is a pinhole camera? Now, pinhole camera is a light, tight box with a very fine round hole. That is the small pinhole in one end and film or photographic paper in the other. That is the butter paper that we've used in the experiment. Now, how does this pinhole camera work? Let's see. Now, we know that light travels in a straight line. So here, light travels. So the light will travel from the point A. Light will travel in a straight line. Now, it travels through this line. Now, it will reach the pinhole and it will pass through that hole. And it is reaching here at the point, say, A1. So we can say that light was coming from the point A and it travels in a straight line. Now second, it passes through this pinhole. That is how the image will be created inside the pinhole camera. And it reaches the point A1 on the screen. Now this is acting as the screen of the pinhole camera where the image will be formed. Now the second light that is here, the light rays are passing. So the light will pass from this middle part. Let's take this point as M. So the light will pass from the point M again in a straight line. So it is passing in a straight line. Now it is passing through the pinhole and it is creating an image here at M1. So we can say light from the point M travels in a straight line. Now it passes through this pinhole and it reaches the point M1 on the screen, which is acting as a screen, which is there in the pinhole camera. Now the third thing is that the light ray passes from the point B so that it can complete the candle. Now it travels in a straight line, passes through the pinhole, reaches the point B1. So light from the point B travels in a straight line. It passes through the pinhole and it reaches the point B1 on the screen. So you can see this is how the image of this candle is formed inside this pinhole camera and we can see it. Now you can see how the image is formed. Now you have already studied about real and virtual images. Now can you tell me the image formed here, is it real or virtual? Well we can say that the image formed here is by the actual intersection of two or more light rays in the real world. Here you can see that the light rays are actually intersecting in the real world. That is why it is what? Real image or virtual image? Well, we'll see. Well, the image can also be obtained on a screen. Here the screen is here. And we have already obtained the image on the screen. So obviously both these points indicate that the image is a real image. Now, do you know that the size of this image can be smaller, can be larger, or can also be equal to the size of the object? Now, when can these cases take place? Let's see. Here, we have assumed that the distance between the object, that is the candle, and the pinhole is denoted by the letter U. And the distance between the screen and the pinhole, that is this distance, is denoted by the letter V. So this distance is U. Now here you can see that U is greater than V. What does that mean? That the distance between the object and the pinhole is greater than the distance between the pinhole and the screen. So whenever this is the case, the image formed is always small in size and bright. So here, the image formed, you can see that the image that is formed is smaller in size than that, the, than that of the object and the image will be bright. Now here, again, we are taking the case of U and V where U is the distance between the object and the pinhole and V is the distance between the pinhole and the screen. 
Here you can see that both u and v are equal. That means this distance is equal to this distance. So in this case, what will be the nature of the image? Well, in this case, the image formed is equal in size and it is less bright. Now you can see that the image here is at the same size as that of the object. So this and this is equal. Now the image form will be less bright. Now again we are taking the case where u is the distance between the object and the pinhole and v is the distance between the pinhole and the screen. Here you can see that u is less than v. Now the distance here is greater than the distance between the object and the pinhole. So what will be the nature of the image? You can make out from the image itself. Now the image formed is larger in size. Well, you can see that yourself. Now whenever this is the case that u is less than v, then the image formed will always be larger in size and it will be less bright. Now you know how the pinhole camera works. So let's recall what is a pinhole camera. A pinhole camera is the simplest camera possible. That is why we could make that pinhole camera ourselves. Now it consists of a light proof box, that is this box, some sort of film, that is the tracing paper or the butter paper, and a pinhole that we can create on that cardboard itself. 